Uh, well, it's been exciting, uh, the least to say, uh, very challenging, um, and uh, the learning process is not stopped. Okay, uh, we are still uh, learning uh, uh, because you must know that uh, we were from obscurity, we were, we, were, we were just put into a place of power. Uh, and uh, the learning process is still going on and um, I, I for one would say that I'm still learning uh, but uh, this past one year uh, within this uh, past one year we have managed to really achieve uh, quite a bit uh, in comparison if you compare the only people you can compare is with BN for the past 50 years um, and also the civil servants are, uh, are very happy uh, in the sense that uh, that they have got certain powers back with them uh, in the sense that we are very uh, proactive with them uh, we, we engage with them all the time uh, we talk to them about issues of programs uh, new ideas and and we, we keep them informed and they we also receive input from them you know uh, previously it was all one way uh, that it, it, it took place but now they are quite happy that uh, as civil servants they are the professionals who actually know uh, the law uh, in and out and they know what to apply and how to apply and when you apply certain things whether it's applicable whether it's successful what are the problems that you can uh, come up with so actually we have given them uh, the, the free way to, to interact with us and so they, 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 they're quite happy with that that is the one the other thing that we have done is in the process we, we have studied uh, what Slango needs uh, Slango is the most developed state uh, and our total revenue in terms of uh, expenditure per year is about 1.4 billion. Uh, that's that's our, our budget. Huh? Uh, we, we have very successful uh, uh, town councils uh, which are doing extremely well. Uh, example is MPPJ, uh, MBSA, uh, Klang, uh, Ampang, uh, Slayang, uh, MPKJ. All these are very successful. That means they are, they are self uh, financing. They, they collect taxes and they have a uh, budget and they, exp they, 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 they uh, do projects according to their budget. Unless and until there is a project that needs financial support from the state, then uh, we will give them, in a t in, in, we don't give them outright, but we give them in terms of loan and they have to repay, they repay the loans to us. And in terms of uh, getting uh, 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 foreign investment, uh, uh, we are glad to say that uh, the, over the past uh, 10 months uh, we have uh, actually achieved a target beyond all other years. Uh, roughly we have collected something like 11.4 billion ringgit in foreign investment into the state of Slango. So in that way also we have been very, very successful in order to get attract new uh, uh, investors to come in. And what we have done is also this the past one year we have uh, launched our uh, Marayatkan Economy in Negeri Selangor, uh, whereby we have launched what we call uh, Warga Amas payouts. There are about 361,000 uh, people over the age of 60 in Selangor. And they are all eligible for this Warga Amas uh, uh, free insurance scheme we have, where we pay 2,500 ringgit on, on, on death. 1,000 immediately when the person dies to the next of kin and the other 1,005 within the 60 days or 90 days. Then we have also registered all newborns in, Singapore, in, in, in Slango. We want them to feel part and parcel of Slango. We have started a small scheme, uh, saving schemes for them uh, through a unit trust uh, thing in the, in the bank, in M Bank. Uh, only newborns, Slango newborns. Any newborn in Slango, you're born in Slango from March 8th all born in, 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 in Slango, you are you're eligible for a $100 uh, a bank account, open directly, payable by the state. If the parents want to add on to that 100 ringgit, it's up to you. The account is given to you and, 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 this, and this program is with M Bank. And that is because as long as your father or mother is, is Slangorian, your child is automatically registered. If both father, parents are not Slangorians, but they can prove that they have stayed in Slango for 10 years or more, the child be becomes automatically a Slangorian. And those who were born uh, uh, before 74, uh, uh, the couple, you know, who were born before, before 74 and they are registered, and then those are, con and staying in KL, they also considered because 74 is when we give uh, KL to, to uh, uh, federal.
The federal government has to play a big role. Let me tell you, the state government can play a minor role in order to elevate the problems of the state and the people. But the major role, the major responsibility is on the federal government. They have the huge budgets. They are the ones who have the huge money. And they should be impartial to what the people, they, what their affiliation of these people are, whether they are affiliated to Pakistan Riot or they are affiliated to Barisan National, that is not the criteria. The criteria is they should look at the people, they should look at the needs, they should be sending out things to them. That is why we are telling the, the, the federal government. Slango state government gives about 25 to 28 percent of the federal funding through taxes to the fed, uh, 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 income tax department. That works out to something, uh, 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 if I'm not mistaken, out of 174 billion, uh, it, it works out to about 30 billion ringgit. We are not getting anything, it's just because we are Pakatan Riot. They should be giving us, even the stimulus package, there must be money coming into the state so that the state can then spend for the people. Because we are giving you the money and it is by law that we have to pay taxes. But the taxes are not coming back through the state government itself, it's through the people. So that, that is where it is, it is wrong, you see. That is where this, this new politics should, should, should seep into the, into the minds of the politicians that uh, it doesn't matter who the state government is run by. Your federal government and your responsibility is to take care of the people of the state. They are your taxpayers. They don't pay the state the taxes. They pay the federal government the taxes. And the federal government should have the responsibility of taking care of it and not paying, playing politics as what it is doing now. It's, it's playing uh, uh, big politics as far as this and, and it's playing uh, uh, party politics, uh, you know, uh, giving it to their party people to run business, their party people to do uh, uh, work in the, in the kampongs and in the towns, you know. Uh, when we declare Ketua Kampongs as a state thing, they go and declare another group of uh, Ketua Kampongs on their own, funding them indirectly. Not to say it's not making difficult, it's just being stupid and silly, uh, trying to make uh, 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 mountains out of mole hills. Uh, there's actually no issue at all as far as the cows and cars are concerned. Uh, as far as the car is concerned, it is absolutely the power of the financial officer, chief financial officer of the state, to decide on, on his own prerogative about the the Busa sky, it is there within the work, uh, the, the uh, rules and regulations uh, in in the books, uh, and we also accepted the fact, uh, as far as the cows are concerned, uh, this is just a GLC company doing its co corporate social responsibility in terms of giving cows to all over. The Tuanku has said, please give more cows to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, it's before it was my constituency. Now you can give more. Thing. So they they made a big issue out of nothing. So we are now saying. K Toyo has made bigger blunders and bigger uh, issues that is facing him, uh, buying property in Mecca directly under his name and transferring it to a different person's name. Now there's a query about whether he paid his income taxes properly, whether and, and all those things because there's extra money that has come in, whether he's declared those things or not. Uh, and also there's a lot of query about uh, improperties in terms of contracts given, uh, a, a favorable developers who are given uh, joint uh, venture benefits uh, without uh, you know, proper procedures. So all these are under investigation now and uh, I think slowly we will, we will release all of them. Perak is in a mess. Uh, constitutionally, uh, I think they have broken all the laws that are there in the state of Perak. What they have done is they have set a precedence which is so dangerous to Malaysian politics. They have taken the speaker to court, they have barred him and his powers through court. The police have barred state elected officials from going into the Dewan Rayat and that is a huge problem uh, that we have to face now. Uh, and now uh, the court doesn't want to make a decision as to the powers of the Menteri Basar and saying it's a constitutional affair, you have to go to the federal court to make the powers. I only hope there are some sensible judges who will look into this uh, truthfully as to facts or concern and make an attempt to, to, to check this thing and read it according to the constitution so that the people will get a fair judgment and a fair result in the end. I think this has gone too far, it's made a mockery of the whole scene uh, and, 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 and sad to say the Twanku's uh, uh, views were, were you know, were ignored one way or maybe the Twanku made the decision, did not take, make the right decision, we don't know but I think the people 
uh, want to put an uh, end to this, all they are asking is for them to declare the Devan uh, Hundangan riot, Nagri uh, Perak, null and void, and, and telling the people to go back uh, to voting so that people can choose the next uh, party that will rule Perak.